Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Two thousand years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the twelve tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. God forgot about all the evil that our, that our people been through. That's right. God don't forget nothing. You understand? But remember, judgment is going to begin in the house of God. So God is going to do the purging with us. So we have to be very mindful. And tell you, sis, give me Deuteronomy 22. You said it was cold. What? Is America the only place that was cold? We had cold in Jerusalem. Well, we've, when, we, when we lived in ancient time in Jerusalem, we experienced cold. It's called the mean season. The mean season is cold weather. The women still kept God's law. Right. So we must keep God's law whether we're dwelling here or abroad. Right. You understand? You got it? Yes, sir. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertained for to a man. What did God say about the woman? The woman shall not wear that which pertained for to a man. What is God saying here? You should not wear pants. Like there we go. <laughs> or shorts, you see how you can't easy? Help it. That, or that, shorts, nothing. You can't help it, sister. That's called that's called rebellion. Nothing, right? You said I can't help it. That's yeah. called rebellion. <laughs> I can't help it is rebellion. Rebellion is the sin of witchcraft in the Bible. That's witchcraft when you say I can't help it. That's witchcraft. Yeah, Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. When man should not wear women clothes. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Do you see? God said, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord. Has God made himself clear with his law? Has God made himself clear? Sister, has God made himself clear? Because you said I can't help it. Has God, has, this is God's word, yes. It's all in the bush. God is bringing people back to holiness. That's right. That's right. But remember, we have to, give me that in um, Revelation 18 and 4. Yes, the sister says so, and God is bringing his people back to holiness. What does holiness mean? Being set apart. Because right now, when you look at us, we are dressed just like the other nations. And we, God said that he set us apart from the other people. Right. So we are not to be like the other nations. And if God is going to make it very clear right now. It's the book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. God says, come out of her, my people. The her that God is referring to is Babylon the Great. That's or, right. in layman terms, America. America is referred to as a her. Right. God says, come out of her, my people. Read on. That ye be not partakers. 
partakers of her sins. Because there's much sin in America. Just like the sin that our, a lot of our people are getting ready to celebrate this Thursday. Thursday coming up, right? This so-called Thanksgiving. I pray none of you sisters are getting into that. I'm I pray you will not. Huh? I said I'm gonna stop going there. None of that. Don't even go. Your mama might call you and tell you to come or family members. No Thanksgiving. We wanna well, thank we God thanks every, thanks every day. day. Okay, oh, but don't thank day. God on the 28th with a turkey dinner either. Right. You know. You understand? That's, I don't thank him every huh? day. I don't care that much for turkey. No, but you may have family members. You may go and, and, and gather with family members that are into that. God says don't do that. Read it again. Verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, huh. that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. That ye receive not of her plagues. What is the plague that is coming to America? Nuclear warfare. Right. Nuclear warfare is coming here to America. But God says before that comes, get out of America's ideologies. Right. Get out of her uh, voting. Right. Get out of her, all these holidays, how people getting ready to celebrate. Get out of that. Right. Even the way we dress, get out of it. That's what, that's God's message. Receive not of her plagues because God is bringing nuclear warfare to America. And God don't want the righteous of us getting caught up in it. You understand? But to avoid it, you gotta get out of the pants. Point blank period, sis. It's, it's, one, it's, either, it's either the right hand side of the most side or you die in nuclear warfare. The choice is yours. Are you in agreement with what God says? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. So, so what do you have to do? Huh? Trust me. I don't go to church, but I pray every day. So what is God telling you to do here? Just, you got to come out. You got to change. You got to change. So what are we gonna, what's going on with the pants? Sister, you got to get out of those pants. It will change, but... You Now, here's the thing. It's winter time. We understand it. Tights, right? Those go under your skirt or dress. Can we go wear tight? Under your dress or your skirt, sure. right? You understand because it, you you got to keep warm. You you it, uh, uh, tights are underwear. That's not what you wear openly, like exactly. what the women are doing today. No, because why? Now you're showing your shape and everything. And they're gonna cause boredom and all those things, men to lust and all of that. You understand? So God is all about modesty. You understand? We have because our, the the mind of our people has been destroyed. Our people have been destroyed, and God knows that. Get me um, Hosea 5.15. Bring it up! God knows that our mind has been destroyed. When I see y'all again, I'll be in a skirt. I, hey, okay. sis, I pray we see you again. I pray we see you again, just modestly. I'll be wearing pants in the long time. All right, sis, and also, no more buying on the Sabbath. No more buying, okay? okay. Read. It's a book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. Because God, God turned his back on us because we rebelled against him. Anytime God turned his back against us, all the nations were able to overthrow us. Bring it up. When God turns his back, that means I'm not protecting you. That's what it means. Read it again. I will go and return to my place okay. till they acknowledge their offense. Until they acknowledge their offense. So when God, until we acknowledge our offense, God is turning his back. Meaning I'm not going to help well, that's you. The that's, that's the curse. God turned his back on us. That's why we're being shot up innocently on the street. That's why there's no justice for our people in the courts. That's why there's poverty with our people. That's why our people are out of order. Unwed mothers, uh, uh, women, uh, our people having babies all over the place. All of that is because God said, I will return to my place until they acknowledge their offense. Read. And seek my face. Seek my face means to repent. And their affliction, they will seek me early. God says in our affliction, that's when we seek God. Isn't that, isn't that so? When our people are afflicted, that's when we start crying, Lord, help me, please, Lord, oh God. That's because, that's when God, that's the only way when we cry to God, is when we're being afflicted. Right. Do we have to be afflicted? Is that what we should cry to God? No, but that's what black people do and God understands that. That's why God ain't helping us. Give me that in Proverbs. I will laugh at your calamity. Because this, what we have to understand is God is laughing at us. You know why? Because we look and search for all of these uh, outs. 
in, on how black people can improve in this society. God is laughing at us. You know why? Because the answer isn't here. The answer is in the Bible, but we refuse. We turn our nose up at God's word. Right. Instead, we look to the white man to set up uh, uh, any avenue of uh, safety or support for our people. God laughs at us because our, our safety, our support is in this Bible. Right. Come on. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23. Turn ye at my reproof. Turn ye at my reproof. God's reproof is the Holy Bible. That's God's reproof. Read. I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye have refused. I have called. God said I called and you refused. God is calling us with the Bible. And you know what our people do when they, when, when they see us teach? Ah. God said I called and you refused. I have stretched out my... I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. I have stretched out my hand with this Bible and none of our people regard. We don't. But ye have sought, but ye have set at naught all my counsel. God said we have set at naught, meaning at nothing, all his counsel, which is the Bible. You know what our people do? We slide the Bible to the side, we don't do what we want to do. We have set at nothing God's counsel. Read. And what none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. God said what? I will also laugh at your calamity. I will also laugh at your calamity. You know what calamity means? Disaster. Chaos. God said I will also laugh at your calamity. So all of these things that befall our people in this society, it's no laughing matter to us, but the Heavenly Father's laughing because we refuse his counsel, which is the Bible. Do you we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.